Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be seeing how to uh, deploy a Minecraft server or start a Minecraft server on CloudOS. Uh, CloudOS is a service provided by a guy named Eric, which is from Germany. Uh, so first we'll open up a browser and type in cloudos.com. Uh, we'll go to this website and we'll create an account. If you already have one, that is great. You can just log in and it. If you don't have one, you need to just register it uh, by clicking that link over there. Uh, you need to provide email, username, password, and then again password. So for today's demonstration, I'll be using a temp mail. So I'll just head to the temp mail website and just get a temporary mail. Uh, we'll just wait until this gets loads. And so once I have this email, I'll just copy it. I'll just use the details and I'll use a random username and same for the password. And just remember your password. This will be used to log in into the server. Once you register, uh, re mail will be sent to your mail to confirm the account. Okay, you need to confirm your account post that you will be able to create the server. So I'll just click on register button. Yeah, so you can see uh, email has been sent to my email. So we'll see the mail in a minute. Yeah, here it is. I'll just click on the mail and then confirm my account. Once my account is confirmed, I'll be redirected to the cloud OS. Uh, right now my proxy was connected, so I'll just disconnect it and then we'll retry again. Yeah, so here you can see this menu will be shown to you. Uh, if this doesn't show to you, you can just click on manage server to show this particular screen again. So in order to start the server, we'll cl click on create new server. Once we click on this button, uh, you will be prompted with three options. First, what your server name would be. I'll just use this test server. Okay and then next one once this is done this will ask for your ip what you need with what you'll join the server so i'll just use test join server rest would be dot plows os dot me and i'll continue yeah so in this step we'll choose the server uh, software we need to install on our server for multiplayer servers i'll recommend play paper but i like to play using fabric so i'll install fabric only you can go with paper but or any other uh, server software you want uh, but what i like the most is fabric one so i'll just go ahead with it so on clicking the fabric i'll uh, search for give me a second yeah once I click on fabric, I'll search for the Minecraft one I want. I want it to be installed for 1.19.3. I'll do that. Once that is done, I'll use the version 0 0.14.17, which is the latest for this specific version, this fabric mo mod loader. I'll click on select version and this will install the uh, Minecraft software server on the server. Yeah. So here, most of the configuration is done now this is the my ip and this is the menu we get now one thing we need to change uh before playing on the server if you have a cracked account that is to go into configuration and then um and then you need to change the account time for premium to crack but if you own the server already you can just go ahead and click on start and st start the server so here in the configuration menu, since I want the crack players to join as well, I'll change multiple things over here. So first is online mode. I'll change this to cracked instead of premium. Next, I'll change the difficulty to hard and I'll f f uh, allow the flights for elytra purposes. I'll t I can turn this, I'll turn this on for now, but you can keep it either whatever you want. Uh, I won't go in detail about why this option is there, but you can just keep this on for now. And I'll also uh, 
force the game mode for the players to stay survival only yeah cool now server slot is five for by default pvp is on whitelist is off and the difficulty is hard and then monsters spawning animals spawning npc like villagers spawning nether and then world size all these things are over here okay i'll just save this configuration okay and then we'll move to how to install mods in your server now since i've used fabric so i'll just use the mods provided by plowed directly or i can choose my own as well in order to do that uh, for the pro mods provided by cloud i'll just go, go to here and click on install they will directly install but supposedly i don't find my mod over here what i would do i would go to the mod providers like modrent uh curse forge etc and then i'll search for the mod i'll download its jar so here i'm searching for a simple voice chat this is simple chat uh, this is uh, i don't want this mod so i'll just search for simple voice chat again right so once i do this i'll go to this i'll search for featured version over here i need to download a jar for 1.19.3 okay i'll choose my filter loader as fabric right and then version is 1.19.3 that's it and then i'll just download the uh, the top most one once this is downloaded i'll just upload this onto my server using the file browser menu right the file browser menu give me access to a lot of functionality on this server so i'll just click on file browser i'll go to mods folder i'll just upload that file over here in case this file does not reflect at this moment you need to start the server and then re-upload it that way the files will be generated and your mods will be updated over here see for the current case this not happens but what you need to do is just start the server and do the process again so i'll just go ahead and start the server and uh, now what happens when you click on start server this puts your server into queue uh, post that queue you need to click on confirm server button which appears over there where my mouse is hovering and then uh, we our server will start see uh, we are in uh, fourth position out of five people and it says two minutes abroad this will end happen pretty quickly now uh, also start my minecraft client version so that i can show you how uh, how to join this okay since uh, this is uh, starting we'll check our server status as well where it is at the mom moment okay you can see uh, it this says confirm server i'll just do that and my server will start loading up uh, my minecraft has also started now i can open up console and check what things are happening so this once this progress bar is 100 a console will show all the values as to what happens when a server starts right so i'll just refresh it and you can see all the logs have been are now here once now this this also takes like few seconds so let it just spun up and we'll add the server in our minecraft so that we can directly connect with this up uh this is my server i'll just rename this to whatever i want this will be test server now currently it shows cross in the ping section because this is not uh, started yet it's in the process of starting as you can see it's preparing spawn area so once that is done uh, we'll hear a lo loud noise uh, chances might be you might not hear in my case but if you have turned on notification for it you will hear it at your end so I think my server is up now yeah you can see my server is up now and it also says over there as well now the server will remain uh, open till five minutes or 
वंस अ प्लेयर ज्वाइन दिस टाइमर विल बी रीसेट एंड इट्स इट विल बी सेइंग हाउ मेनी प्लेयर्स हैव जॉइंड आउट ऑफ हाउ मेनी कैन जॉइन राइट सो आई जस्ट जॉइन दिस एंड शो यू वॉट हैपन्स सी इट चेंजेस फ्रॉम वन आउट ऑफ फाइव टू टाइम टू वन आउट ऑफ फाइव नाउ आई एम यूजिंग सम क्लाइंट आई मॉट विच आई लाइक टू प्ले विथ सो about that some other day so i have simple voice chat as well and a lot of things so that's how a cloud os server is spun up and installed in here uh for more slides i'll make a, another video some other time and i suppose that's it uh one more thing i wanted to talk about is to uh, how would you play with other players like how would you share your server with other players so we have multiple menus over here one of the main menu which that is is the uh, share server at the bottom one yeah this one uh, so what this does uh, if you have a friend who have the same cloud as account you can share the server access to him the best options i'll say you can give him it would be start and stop and if you want to give the more permissions to them just make sure you know them they know what they are doing and just make sure of this because this can they can directly close or delete a server directly from here as well right so make sure you give the appropriate access and i suppose manage in manage players you can make yourself op you white listing ban players etc uh i'll make myself op you need to put your username over here see my username is blender 0 underscore 0 i'll show you it in game one one sec uh you can see blender at the top most hint of it's blender 0 underscore 0 so i'll use the same over here and add it and i'll be added as op in the server directly so as you can see server made the announcement made blender a server operator now i can change my game mode from survival to creative and i suppose that's it that's how you create a server in cloud os and that's it for today thank you if you have can any queries do drop me in the comment section let me know how you like the video and that's it for today thanks